To buy or to build? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to purchase something built for the masses, or to take arms against the woes of dropped screws and cable management to end up with your perfect custom masterpiece. Ultimately, only you can decide, but I'm here to help. This is DIY in Five. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and you are watching DIY in Five. Getting a new PC can be an overwhelming task whether you build your own or buy pre-built. And which you should do is one of the biggest debates in the gaming scene and has been for years as there are clear pros and cons to both. Never fear, today I'll help you decide which option is right for you. If you find the tips in today's video useful, we here at Kingston would appreciate it greatly if you would like this video, sub to this channel, and maybe even share with a friend so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Whether you choose to build or buy will ultimately come down to your personal preference, your budget, your tech savviness, and the amount of time you're willing to spend. Let's break it down. Deciding to build your own PC is certainly the most challenging option of the two, especially if you're doing it for the first time. Between choosing your components, the actual assembly, and potential troubleshooting, this option by far and large takes more of your time. If you do decide to build, there are some pretty fantastic perks. Customization is yours to do with as you will, not only aesthetically, which have a field day, but also in terms of components you have access to. The world is your oyster. I always recommend using a tool like PCPartPicker.com to check compatibility and sale prices before purchasing any components for a build. Speaking of price, if done correctly, building your own PC can be very affordable. You know best which areas of the PC you can cut back on and which you'll need to invest more heavily in based on your needs. You can also shop around to find the best prices and sales on each component, and even go with some secondhand components if you really want a budget powerhouse. Plus, you save on the labor by assembling it yourself. Another added benefit of building yourself is that you're much more familiar with the inside of your system, making troubleshooting, replacements, and upgrades much simpler. These are all fantastic advantages for sure, plus the definite pride that comes when your DIY build posts for the first time. Some downsides to building your own outside of the amount of time it takes include the definite possibility that something could go wrong now or in the future and you'll have to have the patience to see through the troubleshooting and RMA process if a piece of hardware is found to be faulty. If that does happen, there's no one warranty to rule them all here. You'll need to deal with each component, manufacturer, and retailer individually. If you choose to buy a gaming PC, on the other hand, the process is much simpler. You should still research to find the best option for you from a price to performance standpoint. This will still take some time, but there's considerably less time and stress involved for most people going this route. The perks include that it's done for you. You know the components are compatible, tested, and should something go wrong, you have one warranty for the entire build and one company to reach out to for repairs. This can be fantastic if your PC just stops working and can save a lot of headaches in the long run. From a cost perspective, buying a gaming PC usually costs more in that you're paying the labor for someone else to assemble, plan, and test it for you. That being said, I've seen some incredible deals on pre-built systems where the better bang for your buck was to go pre-build on sale rather than get price gouged on components like GPUs. Let's hope those days are behind us. Uh, the chip shortages, I mean. I still very much welcome the gaming PC deals. The downsides of buying pre-built, in addition to the potential cost, are that you'll be limited to what the manufacturer offers, which may be less than stellar PSU or motherboard offerings, aesthetics that are one size fits all, and usually preset budget mid and premium tier configurations. The hybrid of both of these options, and usually by far and away the most expensive way to go, is to commission someone to do a custom build for you, giving you ultimate control over the aesthetics and configuration. There are individuals and small system builder companies nowadays that specialize in custom builds for consumers, which I think is pretty rad. Ultimately, it's completely up to you whether you build or buy your gaming PC. Both methods achieve the same goal, but take different paths of getting there. Let me know in the comments which method you typically choose and why. I currently have one DIY build I use for streaming and editing and one pre-built gaming PC to run my games. I love my setup, but my build is due for a redo sooner rather than later. Share your stories below and I'll see you next time.